Hi everyone, welcome to the first fireside chat series for the Graduate School of Engineering here at Northeastern University. My name is Kelly Igorova. I am an admissions coordinator here for the university and I'm joined by Rashna Balani and Gomi Nadima. They are current students of the Graduate School of Engineering. Rashna, do you want to give a little bit of an introduction to yourself? Sure. So uh, I'm Rashna Balani and uh, I'm in Graduate School of Engineering. Uh, and uh, I'm doing my Master's of Science in Engineering Management. And um, well, I've been here for uh, almost a year now. I joined in fall 2016. And uh, well, the experience here has been pretty great. And I, and I love the school, uh, Boston campus, and uh, everything about Northeastern, all the facilities that Northeastern offers. It has been a great experience so far. Awesome. Yeah. Sure. Hi, uh, I'm Gordon. Uh, and call me Kobe if that's easy. She'll be calling me Kobe. So, <laughs> uh, so uh, I'm a gra graduate student in energy systems. Uh, again, College of Engineering, uh, more multidisciplinary program. Uh, this is my final semester here. I, I came in fall 15, and two years down the line, totally dig for the uh, Northeast University. I mean, you would love the experience of being in Boston, uh, being in the heart of Boston, to be more specific since Northeastern is in the downtown premises. Uh, and for all the people who are going to come in, they're going to love the experience of being in Boston for how, however long you want to be. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Both Govi and Rashna are student ambassadors for our program, so if you have any questions after our chat today, <laughs> feel free to reach out to them. We'll put their contact information sure. after, after the series. So, let's start with you, Rashna. Uh -huh. Why did you apply to Northeastern University? <laughs> well, uh, Northeastern, uh, when I was applying for a master's degree, I wanted to go for engineering management more than a, a wholesome computer science or engineering degree because I wanted, since I had some work experience back in India, so uh, I wanted to uh, go a little into the managerial field, but I did not want to lose my engineering touch. And that's how engineering management helped me uh, in actually taking my next career step instead of just directly taking an MBA route. So uh, when I was looking for colleges, uh, Northeastern was the topmost choice for me because uh, the program has so much of flexibility and they have a, a vast course structure of, of choices for taking the course that you like mm -hmm. so it has it was always an honestly it was an it was a natural choice because northeastern like if you are applying for an em degree northeastern is something that you really have to consider because uh, the boston campus the program and um, the flexibility to go on a co-op or finish it off in one and a half year mm -hmm. all of these things together like northeastern was just the natural choice for me <laughs> yeah yeah and so you came here instead of doing the MBA. Yeah. Um, what impact did your technical background have on choosing engineering management? And how do you see that kind of transcending yeah. into your career? Yeah, so uh, I was working as a software engineer. And I have an engineering degree in uh, electronics and computer science back in India. So uh, this, was, uh, this was something uh, totally in line with what I wanted to do. And this helped me take up engineering courses and uh, software or in data analysis that was the field that I wanted to get into and uh, the management courses they actually helped me and like learning more about how US culture works and how the uh, say I have a course called economic decision making and it helped me in uh, knowing more about the economics of this country and how a company when I'm going as a software engineer in there or a data analyst I also know how the entire team works and how the structure of the team is or say my project management course helped me in understanding how my manager helps us assign courses uh, or team projects and how the entire flow of uh, our um, team would be when I start working in a proper work experience called uh, professional environment. Mm -hmm. So um, I think uh, that has uh, these courses on engineering management has helped me in understanding more about how I can develop myself professionally and uh, learn more about not just the technical details but also uh, uh, the entire project structure and entire organization structure in general. So that's that's what was a major 
uh, influencing uh, like the major deciding factor in uh, <laughs> choosing this course other than uh, going into an MBA degree. Awesome, awesome. Yeah. <laughs> And you talk about the flexibility, which I think is really important. Exactly. Um, the program is really designed, especially both of you are in the multidisciplinary okay. program, and it's really designed for professionals who are who are going into the world directly into industry after exactly. they they finish their right. degree. It's more industry specific. Right? Yeah. And what brought you to Northeastern? <laughs> sure. Uh, when I want, when I was actually making decisions among the schools I got admitted to, I mean at least the admit letters from. Uh, so. Uh, what uh, actually interested me was Northeastern's location, it being in Boston. Mm -hmm. uh, and Boston, like most of us know, it's the college capital of the United States. Education so, hub. Education hub, again, so 17 universities or more. <laughs> yeah, I know. So, uh, so what interested me was, Boston was just not the education hub, it was also where uh, there was a lot of culture which is happening. So as an energy systems student, again, I'm more of a systems engineer. Uh, to be more specific, this program is so structured. So you would need, uh, you need to develop a system, uh, systematic approach of how do you study and what do you study. So for which, again, it goes a little deeper into the culture, into the organization of how the program is. Uh, so for me, what was important is coming, I mean, do, doing your master's in, in a city like Boston. It ju it's just not your school. It's also the schools apart from Bos uh, apart from Northeastern. You can actually cross collaborate with other students here and there. Mm -hmm. um, for me, uh, I was very open, just not for the jobs. I was also open for the research, getting into a PhD after this and all that, which I'm still open to now. <laughs> uh, so yeah, so that's what interested me. Like. Uh, having admits from a college like uh, Syracuse or a school from Stony Brook where it's all university town specific uh, Boston is more is more you know you, you live an urban life than being in a university town yeah, which is like best of both worlds yeah, I would say. It's, it's just a pick up best of both worlds yeah. so yeah that's that's where that big big my interest and again energy is it's so widespread it's called a niche field right, for the program but I would say it's a more widespread. Like each and every program has it's got got its own, you know. Uh, s some somehow it just got, uh, it it overlaps with every program. Yeah. Uh, it is kind of abstract, but kind of overlaps with every program. So mm -hmm. for me, it was important to learn most of everything. So part of the multidisciplinary. Multidisciplinary. <laughs> yeah, right. exactly. That's that's how it comes Definitely. as a multidisciplinary. Awesome. Yeah. And what do you think if there's one factor? You've talked about uh, some of the cross collaborations here in Boston. You've talked about sure. some of the other universities that you were admitted to. Mm -hmm. But what really sets Northeastern apart? What really brought you uh, here? I think two things. Uh, one, uh, this location being in Boston, heart of Boston. Yeah. And the second, the co-op program. Uh, I mean, they're like the pioneers in the co-op program. Like every student, I mean, I've been meeting, I mean, since I've been a part of the a student organization, uh, I've been meeting a lot of people from other universities, like where I couldn't get an admit to, like Johns Hopkins. I I wanted to get in there, I couldn't get in there. But when I converse with those students, they kind of miss what what we have, the co-op program. Exactly. Mm -hmm. uh, some of the students they just come out of the undergrad, get into a grad school, like what I did. So they would need a kind of uh, when they change their programs. Like I was an electrical engineer, and when they wanted change to an energy systems or engineering management they would want to know what the f what actually the program is mm -hmm. and getting the experiential learning there it's c kind of it enhances the experience as a student too uh, you are exposed to the I wouldn't say exposed you are introduced to the corporate world mm -hmm. the American corporate world which kind of puts you in the right direction um, it helps you to find a full-time job if you're interested in. Yeah. Or again, always you can always come back and come back to school and be a double SK. <laughs> sure. Yeah, yeah. Adding to that point, I think uh, as he said that we are introduced to the professional world, but uh, the co-op experience that we get here certainly helps. And uh, as compared to other schools that I was looking into, I think other schools they do not provide eight or probably 12 months of co-op experience and I think that's uh, that's a really great factor in deciding Northeastern over others, other other right. universities yeah good yeah and I think uh, 
majorly that was a deciding factor for me boston location and the co-op the experience co-op. instead of just doing a two months internship uh, especially for students who directly come from undergrad uh, just two months of internship doesn't add that much of a value to your profile as compared to eight months of experience and you learn so much more because you are practically employed for almost a year so that's that's certainly a added advantage than just doing a summer internship right. yeah. and you're working full time so for internships right. it might be five or ten hours per week exactly. but the co-op program is actually 40 hours right. per week for eight full full months which is which is great right. um, so uh, much better than other opportunities that right. we might get in other schools right and the companies here they identify you as as a husky quite quite well so yes, yes. Uh, so they are on the lookout for uh, students who are from northeastern yeah. they understand the importance of the co-op program yeah we are very uh, fortunate our alumni yeah. base is so strong yeah. and they have done achieved great things in other companies and corporate world in general and yeah whenever we are applying to a company here in boston they would they would just recognize us there oh you're a husky <laughs> yeah so like the interview is also like it just goes towards northeastern and i've uh, even the co-op that i just uh, got into um that uh, the hr was a northeastern uh, mm-hmm. alumni Lucky. so yeah so Tell that us was a little bit about the co-op actually <laughs> you're starting your co-op next uh, semester right yeah i'm starting mm-hmm. uh, so this is my third semester and uh, from january i'll be joining my uh, co-op in los angeles california mm-hmm. Mm. And uh, yeah, and it's a eight months co-op from uh, January to August, and uh, then I'll be coming back for the last semester here. And uh, yeah, so when I was being interviewed, the HR was a Northeastern student, and uh, I reached out to her on LinkedIn, and she just said that, "Oh, you're a fellow Husky pro- uh, student," and she actually started the co-op experience in that company just for us. Wow! They earlier just had internships, but since she knew how the co-op structure is, the company did not. So she introduced the co-op program, and they started recruiting. And I was the, f- I'm the first uh, of that batch. So yeah. <laughs> they have never had a co-op experience. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> that's so awesome. yeah, that's that's amazing talking to fellow huskies and uh, seeing that they, how they help each other and how right. the alumni base is so strong. Right. These for Northeastern, I I just love that fact. <laughs> and it's awesome because you're going from East Coast to West Coast. West Coast. Yes. Yeah. 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 Uh, she was a great help than a fellow northeastern uh, hr mm-hmm. so she she was she was very helpful and i would say my experience got even better talking to her and mm-hmm. she used to get back to me mm-hmm. so i just i just think uh, northeastern here is all about like after doing your graduation it's all about giving back and mm-hmm. uh, we also do the same when we came here we had a lot of questions and students uh, kept on uh, uh we students are always like once we were enrolled we kept on asking questions on how this course is or what should we do about the co-op and how should we go about uh uh finding a full time and uh, we uh we got a lot of help from the people who were already in here and who might have graduated by now mm-hmm. and uh, since we are the ambassadors right now <laughs> we are just trying to give back to all the people that have helped us already yeah awesome. that's awesome Are you excited or are you sad that you'll be missing the Boston winter? Oh, well, <laughs> Boston winter. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm excited that I'm missing it. <laughs> But because LA is always sunny, so I'm looking forward to it, uh, at least for the winter. But yeah, the spring here is so nice. So yeah. I'm I'm so happy that I'm coming back for the best period <laughs> in Boston and now uh, Well, yeah, but I'll, I'll certainly miss Northeastern and, <laughs> and <laughs> coming. And the friends you made here. <laughs> oh, yes, the friends and the professors especially. Sure. Um, I'm also the teaching assistant for mm-hmm. uh, the career management class. Mm-hmm. So I'll help the professor and uh, uh, she, uh, she, I'm pretty sure that she's going to miss me too. <laughs> <laughs> we, we all uh, have such a good rapport with the professors and uh, they are very helpful and friendly and they're always there. 
no matter what kind of problem we have mm -hmm. uh, any kind of professional help you just name it and they are always there to help you out so I think uh, more than everything uh, I'll miss that moral support of like mm -hmm. having uh, the professors to talk to and telling telling us that okay we are on the right path and yeah, everything is going fine <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah. Sure. Uh, so Govi sure. what is your favorite course here in uh, so Again, a niche field. Uh, my my favorite was City Sustainability and Climate Change. I took it in spring 2016, uh, just a semester into it. And the best part was, uh, again, uh, what's important while you're taking courses, which are electives, is how emotionally are you connected to that course. For me, t picking that course was, I had an emotional attachment to the course, just to know how the climate change is affecting each one of us, how it, uh, you know, it's spread across every every field mm. and how cities can actually be the starting points where you can actually do something uh, to stop it so that'll be my favorite f uh, f it's, a, it's a total different topic but that will be my t favorite uh, course again the professor uh, uh, professor uh, Joan Fitzgerald she was my, she's still my favorite so <laughs> uh, yeah so that's like that's like a super uh, zoomed out overview of what the entire energy field is like in the United States and the Europe. And it kind of uh, set me up in a direction where I can actually start, you know, working on what I'm interested in. Uh, so, yeah, that's that's a totally different topic, but this is, this that's how it helped me to get a direction mm -hmm. and get, get into research and all that. Is okay. Dr. Fitzgerald your advisor? Uh, sh no, she isn't. She uh, but uh, the good part about the en energy systems program is it's spread among all the uh, schools. Like, this, this is a public policy school, uh, so we we get to take courses from business school. We get to take, of course, uh, as you know, from college of engineering mostly. But again, business school, policy, uh, college of science too. So, uh, so since we are all multidisciplinary, we don't have a specific department. So we are kind of uh, flexible. Oh, flex yeah. I, I wouldn't say flexible. That's the, uh, that's the best part about it. Somehow we get a lot of care from all the professors just because we don't have a department to ourselves. <laughs> right. uh, yeah. So that kind of helps you to make decisions better because you are talking uh, to so many people. You just talk yeah. to a lot of people, mm -hmm. and somehow they have the soft corner for you. They are they are just open to you whenever and whatever you want to do. Or yeah, I think that's one of the, the sure. best parts. I'm relatively new to Northeastern too, and I notice that all of the faculty here, almost all of them, They're have an open door policy. Yeah. All the time. And you can just email them or call them or um, walk into their office, and they're all so excited to see students, Absolutely. and um, even from a staff perspective, they're so warm and welcoming. It's amazing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It yeah. Awesome. Um, so when you were planning your courses, how did you navigate? Is there, did you uh, work with an advisor? What was kind of your, your thought process? Sure. Uh, I was very open when I came into Northeastern. I was uh, on the lookout for both co-ops as well as the research. Mm -hmm. uh, but again, uh, once I got a sense of direction, I kind of uh, started taking courses which are more research specific. So again, it's called an energy systems program because you get to take uh, multidisciplinary, I mean, interdisciplinary courses. So I, I took courses from College of Science. I audited courses from uh, public policy, just not Jones, uh, Professor Jones' class. I also took courses which were uh, policy-oriented, uh, energy justice and all that. So I was into many courses. I mean, our structure is to take 10 courses, but I was kind of taking more than 14, 15 courses. <laughs> So, again, uh, so what 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 uh, so what helped me to do? I mean, what helped out of that was I was able to create a structure. Like, give uh, our program is we get to do more courses than the actual typical energy. I mean, a graduate student would do. Mm -hmm. uh, so, since me taking a lot of other courses, it gave me a sense of how you you have to structure the program. So now. Uh, because of me doing that and also being a part of the student organization board, uh, what we could achieve was uh, at the end of the last semester, I could get a structure to the program. Like uh, the the more number of credits have come down to the typical 32 credit program of all the graduate school of engineering. Hmm. So yeah, again, 
it's it's just not me taking more courses. Right. It also helped the program to structure itself. Right. Right. Yeah, and I'm glad that 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 helped me in that way. Awesome. Yeah, you get to shape up your own unique uh, right. uh, profile, mm -hmm. and it's it never never gets away from energy systems, as sure. you said. But mm -hmm. you're in energy systems, but you have your own uh, profile, and that's what makes you stand out mm -hmm. in this world of competition, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. especially in Boston sure. with so many schools around. The competition is pretty high, but when you have a unique profile, especially because of the interdisciplinary program, mm -hmm. I think that makes a huge difference, and uh, people want to take you mm -hmm. as compared to other people. And yeah, Northeastern has played a big role. Even for my course in engineering management, I took courses like economic decision making, as I said, and uh, probability and statistics, mm -hmm. uh, which are compulsory courses for engineering management. But at the same time, I took big data engineering systems. Mm -hmm. um, which is so, so important. In so well. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Even for us. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Exactly. Data is shaping the world right now. So since I wanted to move into data and uh, also not... Uh, also have the managerial aspect to it. Mm -hmm. When I took this course, uh, and I was looking out for uh, organizations more towards fintech, that is financial technologies mm -hmm. or financial management. Mm -hmm. So these courses really helped me in uh, cracking the interviews and uh, making an impression to the HRs and the directors that interviewed me. Mm -hmm. uh, when I told them that I've taken courses like economic decision making, and uh, I know about the tax revenues and how um, mm -hmm how the money goes in or comes out, and I know the project structure and how uh, project managers work in general, but at the same time, I know every I know a lot about data too, mm -hmm. because of the courses that I've taken right. at Northeastern. That really helped in them selecting me because they are a tax analyst company, mm -hmm. and uh, I'll be joining as a data analyst. So uh, that really helped me sync to what they were looking for, and this certainly requires all the um, unique profiles that they were looking for and uh, so I think this really helped me in shipping up my profile and uh, since I wanted to move into financial background this really right. <laughs> this really helped me yeah so you're getting kind of the breadth and the depth exactly the exactly, exactly. Yeah. and yeah. I don't think I would have been able to get this in any other university because uh, they don't have this much as much flexibility as uh, Northeastern offers so yeah. Yeah. yeah I think I think this totally helped me in uh, uh, having a proper career path that I always wish to have like, since the last two years. <laughs> yeah. Let me ask you both. So you're both here as international mm -hmm. students. What was it like coming to the United States? Were you nervous? Were you excited? Was there anything, any experience that was difficult for you or uh, something that occurred that was easy for you? Tell us a little bit about uh, we'll start with Gobi. Sure. <laughs> so I would say I was excited uh, and simply because you are moving out of the out of India for the first time I mean it was uh, not just the experience of what you would face mm -hmm. what I mean what what you would anticipate and all that uh, but again what was easy for us was we I mean as Indians we are culturally good at math <laughs> so yeah and as an energy systems graduate student there's a compulsory course of math for mechanical engineers uh, and I think kind of every, every almost yeah. every program. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> right. Uh, so, yeah. As I mean, I would say uh, it was again the school helped us to shape us yeah. a little bit. So yeah. it was quite easy yeah. at the beginning. But then again, you complicate things with other things like you take more courses, you <laughs> do other things, mm -hmm. uh, be more involved in the realm of a uh, university. Yeah. So. I mean, th that gave me the flexibility of complicating things, which I would love to. Sure. Yeah, I think my experience in USA has been really uh, amazing. And uh, it was tough uh, when I first came here because this is entirely different culture-wise. Uh, India has a different culture altogether when it comes to education. Mm -hmm. But uh, certainly, this is more developed. and. Uh, India is coming there too <laughs> soon. <laughs> yeah, we are we are almost there. <laughs> so um, yeah, it was difficult in the start because um, I did not anticipate the competition. I would mm. say because uh, you're dealing with a lot of people and especially in engineering, mm -hmm. uh, the competition is fairly high. So I I I I had a um, tough time in realizing 
this thing but as soon as i saw okay what the people are doing is uh, people are really inspired and working hard towards what they want to achieve and um, that just um, made me realize that okay i need to buckle up and <laughs> get there and now uh, yeah but it just took it just takes a little time but uh, you get there when you see everyone around you and the environment here uh, it's just so advanced i mean when you enter the northeastern campus even if you walk in the campus gardens or anything everyone is talking about a co-op or a full time <laughs> and uh, how they did three co-ops or four co-ops the undergrad students so, <laughs> so it's actually very inspiring and you realize how people are so uh, professionally goal oriented mm-hmm. and not just here to you know earn another degree mm-hmm. they they are actually working on themselves so that was that was a uh, really a nice experience and um uh, i think other than that uh, everything else was uh, uh, pretty smooth because northeastern has so much of help mm-hmm. and i was uh, helped by my student ambassador when i joined mm-hmm. here uh she's kirtana i i am pretty sure you guys <laughs> <laughs> yeah we we all love, love her so um we we were helped a lot with her and uh, yeah i would say that yeah we are also here to pass along that. all that yeah <laughs> all that knowledge so. i think to a point uh where northeastern helps us i think we we've, we've got the boston advantage mm-hmm. uh okay. people are somehow more uh, warmer more more liberal oh, with yes. with us yes. uh and i mean i wouldn't delve into that but somehow they love the indian food <laughs> so it's the indian cuisine yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah kelly loves it too right? <laughs> it's right, delicious right. <laughs> <laughs> it is uh, i mean it's it's a huge mix of various things but yeah, yeah so definitely i mean you've got the boston advantage always yeah it's a big city so you have all the uh, convenience sh- stores and the yeah. grocery shops or everything is uh, available all around like the convenience store here is, here is 24 hours open so right. it's like the most part, so yeah. much convenient if you are spending a night out in the library right, right. you can just yeah, yeah. yeah just, <laughs> just go to the snacks. store yeah, get some right. snacks uh, yeah so yeah boston location really helps and especially being inside the city right in the heart of the Hot, city right. is more important than having it somewhere far off right along the charles yeah. yeah exactly oh charles river is so beautiful right. <laughs> that's a good segue so you both are your north <laughs> Eastern students, but you mm-hmm. have lives outside of Northeastern. <laughs> so tell me, what do you do when you're not studying or you're not on co-op? What are you doing? Uh, so the best part of being a graduate student is you've got a time to yourself because you live off campus. Uh, you've got to be like a Bost- Bostonian, <laughs> then being <laughs> then being a Husky all the time. Uh, so yeah, so the city has got a lot of bike paths. Mm-hmm. So oh, yeah. I, I mean. I used to do a lot of biking last year not not this year much but uh, again so there's a lot of a uh, lot of bike paths around you can actually do marathons to the 5k's yeah, especially during so fall period. during fall yeah right. fall Th- that's the best part of the year so a common tagline you would have here is uh, new england does fall the best so exactly new yeah. england has the, the best crisp fall. leaves the crisp uh, leaves yeah, yeah. the yeah. color yeah. change so many colors so many colors yeah yeah so yeah Yeah, you would definitely would would be looking forward to that. Especially in Boston Commons, I think that's a great com- sure. great card and once you come here, you should definitely visit Boston Commons the first thing because when students come in here during fall period, the leaves are already turning orange mm-hmm. and brown and it's so beautiful sure. in there. Yeah. <laughs> I love that place. The water, it's sure. beautiful. Yeah. And also uh what helps us is uh the location of Northeastern we just in the middle of all the campuses we have That's berkeley cool. college of music we have mm-hmm. new england conservatory of music mm-hmm. we have bso boston symphony orchestra mm-hmm. and uh, as a student mass, you mass college of arts mm-hmm. mass yeah, art. yeah, yeah. right so people. as a student you get to g- get subsidized rates for the uh, for entering into <laughs> bso yes. so all those music fans there are best place to be here museum of fine arts yeah. free yeah. Yeah. museum of fine arts so fine. many right. international Which is artists across the street right. from us now yeah exactly sure. yeah. yeah the other day i remember yeah, there was uh, an international artist from india mm. who came in for a concert oh shreya so. bhushan yeah exactly yeah. <laughs> so yeah we we keep on uh, going there and we get uh, subsidized rate as he said sure. because we are a student student yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a great time to um, sure. live and like actually attend all the events and not just uh, uh, be uh, 
a student. Just, right. just, just, a student. just studying just and right. doing research. And yeah. There's also, I think, a lot of mobility once you're here in the United States. Like, you've been to California right. a bunch. Yes. Hiked <laughs> over now 100 mountains, right? Um, <laughs> Yeah, almost. <laughs> yeah, crazy. so hiking is hiking is great around here, and uh, especially uh, I don't remember going on any hike in India. But when I came here, and mm. especially in Boston, people are so health conscious. Uh, I, I yeah, see the city life. Because of so many hospitals right. too here, the, right. they are great hospitals, and uh, we have Harvard and we have uh, Tuft and all those companies. So sure. people are so. Uh, health conscious and when I came here I realized okay yeah. <laughs> these, these are fun things to do too and it keeps you healthy and uh, takes away the stress of the graduate life so yeah. whenever you are you can so the student so experience has to be holistic yeah, and this exactly. kind of gets us there yeah, right. yeah not just uh, uh, confined to the libraries oh. right. <laughs> but, <laughs> right. but also roaming around and uh, catching up on things uh, all for the histo uh, history geeks a small peak oh yes uh, museum of just not that. Uh, the HNLs, the Historic National Landmarks, oh, yeah. yes. uh, Boston's got 50 sits of them. <laughs> 56 exactly. 50 sits, right. 50 <laughs> sits. So, yeah, if you're staying for a year, you every weekend, you can you get can, to one of them. <laughs> You'd have to stay for four more weeks. Yeah, four, 50 <laughs> you still have four more weeks to do that. Right? Yeah. 52 plus so four. 50 sits is four, quite That's what OPT is for. <laughs> Awesome. Thank you both so much. This is, it was really great to hear from both of you. And we'll provide your contact information for Absolutely. anyone who has to reach out to you. But any concluding statements? <laughs> uh, for all of you who are trying to make a decision, you've got, you've got to come to Northeastern. Yes, <laughs> so you, you, that would be the best decision you'll ever make because nothing could be better than this, honestly. <laughs> I feel that personally. I, I, I ask my friends and they're all struggling because either their college is in some remote section of the country or right. they are um, just not able to get a lot of courses. And I think Northeastern is really a holistic sure. environment for everything in general. So, yeah. Awesome. Thank you both. Thank Thanks you so for much. Joining. <laughs> yeah. Thank you for joining. Sure. Sure. All right.